<laughs> what? What? Uh. Go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. Howdy folks and welcome back to Ark Building Adventures on the center map. We're in the modded server here with the other crazy folks and we're building all kinds of crazy stuff and my Bronto here, <laughs> Joan Deere, has now got a bone Bronto costume thanks to us having uh, won all of those seeds from killing the Earth Boss. And one of the seeds we got was the skin plot, or skin seed basically. So let's uh, take a look here real fast. So we got all the skins that you can imagine. Well, not all of them, but almost all of them that have ever been in ARC, including special anniversary ones and the, <laughs> the birthday suit. If you haven't seen the birthday suit, the birthday suit is hilarious. Uh, especially on, on, on a dude, it just makes him look like he's uh, he's topless and uh, there's a blurry section around his crotch. But on a chick, of course, <laughs> uh, nothing you can do to, to see anything else. No matter how hard you peek. <laughs> That's really cool. I don't think I can put him back in there now. I have to put them in one of the vaults, um, but we also have, uh, yeah, we've got this stuff, the spoiled meat, and we've got the narcotics now, and the gunpowder, and charcoal, and and I stimulant, and and all sorts of stuff, and uh, we've got the the super uber seed, which gives us all the artifacts, which is just great because we can use those for making potions, which is really cool, and the skin stuff actually gives us some of the trophies as well, like this, the broodmother trophy, and so forth, and. The dragon trophy, things that we need to actually make some of the potions as well, like the Me Megapithecus trophy. So that's really cool stuff. So let's get rid of these uh, these skins. <laughs> They're just too funny. And put them in here as well for safekeeping. What we're going to do today, you saw in the inventory, is uh, we have our tamed earth boss. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn that guy out now. Go ahead and drop him somewhere. He's a titanosaur, so we need room. Uh, he's bigger than uh, Joan, so let's go ahead and put him over here and see if, it, if this works. There he is. He's ours. Level 900 to start. Awesome. No saddle required. I don't think there's a saddle. Sp oh, there is a saddle spot. If there's a Titan Source saddle, we need to get one to help for uh, damage reduction and so forth. So here is our Earth Boss. He does a lot of damage up front. Look at that. The Stomp, 89,000. Right out of the gate. No levels. That's awesome stuff. Look at this health. Wow. 28, almost 29 million health. Stamina to, to for days. Who cares about food? Who cares? And weight. I mean, at this point, who cares? Look at that. Melee damage right out of the gate. You saw that. Movement speed, of course. We have to pump that up as much as we possibly can, but definitely need a lot of that. Let's go ahead and pump. Look how big we get that. Let's try to get that to 100 million. Um, maybe bump speed a little bit more and then just stick, stick the rest of it all into melee. See if we can get this guy. Is it a guy? Is there a, is there a gender? No, it's a gal. Nice. Well, she's, uh, this is an earth boss, right? So we're going to call her, uh, we're going to call her Mother Earth. Yeah, Mother Earth. That makes sense. So there's Mother Earth. Make her neutral for now. She can take care of anything. And, uh, and then we have this air boss that we're going to spawn, and we're going to fight with the mother. But first we need to level the mother up. So I'm going to take her out, maybe go to Carnal Island, kill some things. <laughs> uh, that ought to be fun. All right, I got the saddle on Earth Mother. We're at Carnal Island, Dead Island. Let's see what kind of carnage we can create. It's so dark. You guys notice it's dark? There we go. I can actually see a little bit now. Let's see, what do we got here? Rex? You look so small. Oosh. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun.
Okay, we're back, and uh, he's not, <laughs> she, Mother Earth, is not uh, max level yet, and, and it dawned on me, you know, that's, that's, that's really boring. I really want to make a max level potion, big time. And so I, I went ahead and checked the uh, ingredients for a max level potion, and a max level potion requires, here we go, instant level potion. Um, broth of, en of en Enlightenment, which uh, I think we can get the ingredients for, a double effect potion, uh, we can make that. Um, kibble seed is the problem. Uh, those trophies and those artifacts, no problem, because I now have the skins plot and the uh, the master plot, this thing. So there's my artifacts, and of course I can get those trophies down here uh, just fine. So that's not a problem. So it's the kibble seed that's the problem. Now I know some other people on the server have kibble seeds, but I kind of wanted to do it myself, kind of want to make a kibble seed myself. And kibble seed is one of the trickier ones to make. Uh, if you go to farming, seeds, I think, it's, is it tier 5? Yeah. It requires 10 Quetzal eggs. I mean, the rest of those I've got, those seeds, all of those I've got. Just need 10 Quetzal eggs. So, off camera here, just uh, before I came back, I went out and flew around for quite a while <laughs> looking for Quetzals. For some reason, I had the hardest time finding Quetzals on the center because they fly at a weird altitude. Um, they don't fly at the highest, but I managed to find this uh, gal here. Now, both of these were the exact same level wild, uh, found in different parts of the map. Uh, the reason they have totally different tame levels is because this one started getting attacked by a raptor immediately. Uh, so I had to deal with that, and uh, this one was not. Uh, oh, and by the way, so I've, I've gone ahead and bred them once, and you'll notice that she's got a tim timer. Yeah, she's counting down. And I tested that the uh, Jones egg collector that's down below on the ground floor is actually collecting the eggs that she drops because they collected the fertilized egg, which I will show you here in a second. Uh, the Jones egg collector is right here. Is it Jones? Yeah, Jones collector. And it collected that fertilized egg. So any other egg that she naturally drops uh, from now on, or if I re-breed them every hour, I think, uh, I can get up to 10 and then I can finally make that seed. And if I make that seed, I can finally, you know, get towards making... <laughs> Uh, the uh, instant level potion. Um, but in the in the process of finding those quests, I found an Alpha Rex, and I was on uh, Stormy, our Wyvern up there, level 311 now, and uh, killed the Alpha Rex, no problem, and found this cool hatchet. What I thought I would do, since I don't think I've demoed it before, is we have this other mod here called the Blueprint Crafter. Now, the thing about this mod is start a fire, then add items to create blueprints. Caution, item gets destroyed. Heavy items take more time. So if we light this, we take this hatchet, we drop it in, it gives us a blueprint, which theoretically is better than the one we started with, and I forgot what that was, but you guys could go back and find out. Uh, I don't know if it's better or not, but in order to then repeat the process, you have to go craft this and then start over again. So what we're going to do is we are going to do this. We're going to actually take this guy out to where all those resources are, which is uh, out here in the farm. And we're going to place this down, and we're going to re recraft this thing and try to get a really cool hatchet. Let's go ahead and place this down here. That's fine. Throw in a couple sticks of wood. Take this over to here to the smithy, which I also moved out here. And it's going to require more middle ingots, so let's go ahead and pull resources, middle ingots, uh, middle ingots. And our plot has got a ton. Let's throw in 5,000 of them. Should be enough to make that hatchet, right? There it is. Craft the item. And we have this blueprint as a reference. It's a 570-229. So if we then take this, light our fire, stick this in. It's a 423-487. Now, how did that compare? Throw that in here as well. So, 229, 487, pretty good. I'm kind of happy with that for now. I mean, we can keep going until we get, like, the super, super hatchet. And I might do that a little bit off camera, but I want to show you guys how that works. And notice the, the crafting costs are just going through the roof. Thank goodness we have the uh, resource crop plots, right? <laughs> okay, I think we finally got our Quetz eggs. It's been a while. I've been AFKing and doing other things with other guys. You probably saw them on some of their other videos. And, by the way, I played with my blueprint a little bit more, and I got up to a 650 which is pretty nice. I think I'll just stay there because it's getting really expensive. <laughs> but I got all my quetz eggs. It's expensive to make them. It's like uh, 14,000 metal or something there and like 20,000 high. No. So we've got that. Let's go to this bench over here. 
Uh, all the quetz eggs. I had to breed them a couple, breed her a couple times, and I just did other stuff uh, as I was uh, letting them just lay eggs. Um, farming. That's what I was doing. Seeds. Tier five. What do I need for the kibble? I need uh, the RG Bronto Rex Megalodon seeds. Those are over here. Their their images have disappeared for some strange reason, uh, but they are here. Let's go by weight. I should say. Uh, well, you would, well, I guess that's not going to work. Uh, let's just type in seed. Maybe that'll be better. Uh, how come I'm not seeing seed? Hello? What? Hello? What happened to the seeds? Huh. Does this one have seeds? No. I mean, I can make them with what's in here, but that's bizarre that they're not making new seeds. Is the image is gone? Maybe they've somehow because I took all the seeds out. Let me turn these off. Maybe they're just defective now, or turned themselves off, or something. Is this this one's on? Turn on, on. Okay. Well, let me let me do that. Let me put the seeds back in because I think I took some seeds out. I think I have some seeds. Uh, I do. There's a megalodon seed. Um, a bronto seed. And that's, oh, here we go, a Rex Seed and an RG Seed. Um, R, no, I don't have an RG Seed. How do I make an RG Seed? Sure, okay, let me go put these other three in. I'm pretty sure I can make one, but uh, this one is Megalodon. So we're going to put that in here and we're going to turn it on. So that seed should be consumed, which it was. Are these seeds? No. And then eventually it should make more. Right. Let me eject some space here, just in case it needs the space for more of that. Um, let's see, same thing here, right? Hundred of hundred are taken up, so let me eject some of this. Throw in this is Rex. Did I not throw? Oh, I didn't throw in the Megalodon seed because there was no room for it. The Megalodon. Okay, that one's that. This one is this guy. Same thing, eject, 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 put a little bit in here, turn it on. Somehow these got like in a weird state. And I need more of this. So I'll take, wow, okay, that's because of this, the little leave the game, come back in thing. There we go. Should have enough now. Let's go over here quickly and make some of this. This is farming seeds. We're repeating the process. Uh, tier three, tier four. RG Claw. RG. I need chitin seeds, which I do have. In fact, let me just grab new a new set of chitin seeds, unless those are bugged too. That's chitin. There they are. And come on over here. Chitin seeds, farming seeds, tier four, did I say? Yeah, RG. There we go. Grab that RG seed out of here. And let's go put it in here for now. Okay, that's Bronto. This is RG. It's got room. Boom. And turn on. Turn off. So these are all on. They should be producing seed now. Yeah, there they are. Huh. Weird. I don't know why they weren't producing seeds before. And there's some there. Some here. I think I hope my five will do. I don't remember the exact count I needed now. Uh, that hasn't yet worked. What's going on here? Hmm. 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 There it is. Okay. Got all the seeds, I think. <laughs> Let's go and put them back in here and see what it says. Farming seeds, tier five, kibble. And once I have the kibble, now we're going to go investigate the rest of the requirements that we need for this thing. Let's go ahead and find a place for our kibble. Um, why not right here? Right here looks good. And this is on already, so we're going to let that run. And if we come down here for potions for the instant level, all right, double effect, we know how to make that. We can get those other things. It's going to be Broth of Enlightenment I need to look up. XP Potion is another thing I need to look up here. 
So let's just actually type in XP. What do we need here? Uh, generic artifacts, no problem. Artifacts? Artifacts. In a second. Uh, oh, I can only take one of each. That's right, I can only carry one of each type. I forgot about that. I forgot about that rule. All right. Um, generic XP potion, there it is. I can only make one right now because I need woolly rhino horn, is that right? Let's go back here, I cannot not see that, so XP. I uh, got enough woolly rhino horn. Uh, I have enough of everything. How come it won't let me make more than one? Oh, it won't let me make anything because I don't have any spark powder in there to start it up. One spark powder is good for like a day, but I haven't been back on in a while. All right. XP potion. Five. Is that how many I needed for an instant level? It is. Now let's make five double effect potions. And we might even have some of those. We have three already. We need two more double effect potions. Double effect potions come with... There it is. Rare flower seeds. Okay, they're over here. Rare flower. Wait. Seeds. I'm actually going to grab the uh, the mushroom seeds. I don't know why I did that. The mushroom seeds and the meat seeds as well, because I know that those are used for the health ones. So let's grab those while I'm here. Okay. I need two more double effect potions, right? Doing a little bit of alchemy over here, guys. Alchemy. Uh, where is it? Double effect. Two more. Boom. Oops. Boom. Boom. And this is going to then make it so that... Oh, not, in, not XP. It's uh, instant level. There it is. I need the kibble seeds when they come up. I need the uh, broodmother dragon and methopith... methopith you know what I mean. Broodmother dragon. <laughs> Let's grab those real quick. Um... That's a Dodora skin. Broodmother. Dragon. A Meso Megapithecus. Oh, I keep seeing Mesopithecus. Megapithecus. Boom, boom, boom. Instant level. So now with just the kibble seeds, we'll wait for that to pop. In fact, that might have popped out already. Uh, kibble, 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 kibble. Oh, yeah, it should have. Where are my seeds? Oh, they look exactly like kibble, don't they? Kibble seed. There we go. All right, kibble seed. All right. Uh, I only have nine of them, though, so I need to wait for more. But broth of enlightenment. Let's go make some. Okay, I just made a quick trip over to uh, Scriptar's place because uh, we need black pearls, and I don't yet have black pearls. So I borrowed ten black pearls from him. Once we get the black pearl seed, I will return the black pearls. I don't need ten. I need five, but I figured I might need to make another one. So <laughs> grab ten. Uh, so over here, let's go to the farm pad, get into the farm, and we should have everything we need now. I checked the number of horns we had. We had 29 left. We only need 25 to do one of these. So I'm going to throw that in there, and now for the instant level, we're going to need, oh, pardon me, for the broth, broth of enlightenment. Whoops. I moved the cooker out here. It's the broth of enlightenment that I need over here, and uh, we're going to quickly check the recipe for this i'm going to need some all the different veggies i've got the horn in there already and uh, medjo berries i think that's it all the different veggies and medjo berries right and i think those are all now i think available to be pulled um so i don't need that that you got citron all um i'll just take 25 of everything i've got brontos marching out in front of my building here as you saw when i came in they're very annoying. Uh, long grass. We'll grab 25. And medjo berries. We'll grab, I don't know, grab 200 because I don't really know what I need. We don't have a medjo berry plot. Ooh, we need to make one of those. All right. Um, uh, I know we need some more veggies here. Rock carrot. Uh, 25. And there's one more. Savo root, right? Did I already grab it? No, I didn't. Savo root. There it is. 25. 25 Savo root. All right. We have everything we need, right? That should be all we need for Broth of Enlightenment. It should give us one Broth of Enlightenment. It'll take it a while, though. What? 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 Duh. Go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. Dude, with Dilos. Did I say one Broth of Enlightenment? 
I meant to say five, of course. That was enough ingredients for five. Except uh, I also forgot to notice that when I pulled the uh, measure berries, uh, nothing transferred because I think he was just slight or she was just slightly out of range. So now it should start making five broths of enlightenment. And there's one. All right, five broth of enlightenment. I was about to head out and give the instant level potion, but I haven't made it yet. Crafting. Here we go. Instant level potion for Mother Earth. So we don't have to go. I mean, do we spend so much more time gathering all the stuff for this than actually going out and probably leveling her up on our own? But whatever. All right. Instant leveled, theoretically. I also want to clear up this. There are wild turkeys spawning here. <laughs> They're no fun. Uh, but I need to get rid of some other stuff around here. Okay, so. Instant leveled. Uh, she's already at 50 million health. Um, and she's she's fairly fast, but I'm thinking maybe just give her a little bit more speed. Maybe 350. Uh, yeah, let's go to 350 and then all the rest is going to go melee. All the rest. Because I've already put a ton into health. Oh, now we need to see what kind of damage she can do. All right, Mr. Bronto, or Mr. and Mrs. Bronto. Whoa! Whoa! The lag! The frames from trying to go up against that building. Okay, okay. Stepping over the building. And crunch! 2.7 million. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, guys, it's time to fight the air boss. Let's see what we can do and see if we can claim our own. I think we're sufficiently far enough away from our base. Let's see if we can spawn this thing out here. See if it'll spawn in the air out here and fall. It does spawn in the air. Now the question is, there we go. And I sure can. I'm going to say, can I hit it? And I sure can. Only for 207. Oh, the first one was for a lot. And then it was for a lot less. Or I was hitting something on the right. Okay, I wasn't hitting it. I'm hitting it for... 10% of my damage, basically. Which is still a lot. 275,000. A lot more than the, uh, I think a lot more, if I'm not mistaken, than I was getting from the Pooptron when I killed uh, the Earth boss. And it only doing 13 to me, so I should be in great shape. And it doesn't seem to want to... Well, I was, gonna, I was just about to say, it doesn't seem to want to leave, but now it's wanting to leave. Come on back here. You know you want to fight. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, she cannot turn very well. There we go. She cannot turn well at all. All right, we're going to go down and make a wide turn. Beep, beep, beep. Wide turn. Come on down. Don't stay up there, girl. There we go. No, I'm not hitting her. I'm hitting things on the ground. Oh, man. I don't have anything that can take her out. This is this is frustrating. She won't come down. <laughs> you know what I should have done? I should have caged her. Hmm. I wonder if you can trank these things too. I doubt it. Okay, they're coming. She's coming down now. This should hit her. There we go. Right clicking, hitting her with my hind legs. There we go. Now hit her with the front. Perfect. I've kind of wedged her in here. Hind legs. Come on. Hind legs take too long. To recharge. Alright, there she goes again. She seems to have no interest in me. She doesn't fight back very much. This is this is kind of sucky. Well, that did not go over so well. I uh, thought I would bring Stormy out and peck at it and um, one bite from the air boss and Stormy died. So Stormy's gone and fortunately the boss has decided to land again and so I can pound on it some and get my vengeance. Stop killing my animals. Stupid quets. Stay right there. I'm not letting you go. Stop pooping, Mother Earth. There. She's dead. She deserves it. Or is it a she? I don't know. It deserved it. I don't need all this fertilizer. What kind of seeds do we get? More ultimate seeds. Spark powder seed, okay. I would. There's the kibble seed. Awesome. 
Black Pearl Seed? Black Pearl Seed, yes! That was what I was really hoping for because I didn't have it. And more importantly, did you see that? We get our own Boss of the Sky. So hopefully that will be a replacement for Stormy, sadly. Sorry, Stormy. Um, Stormy's gone. And I don't think there's anything else in the inventory. Nope. All right. So now we get to play with our own Boss of the Sky, which means we get to work on yet another instant level potion. <laughs> oh, we don't harvest, do we? Oh, well. Just leave it there. Okay, armor all repaired. And before we go... We should, by the way, this Rex is not mine. This is one of the ones that uh, we were on uh, Mortuary's stream. If you want to go to Twitch, uh, Mortuary's channel, and check out his Twitch channel, you can see some stream stuff we did yesterday on Mortuary's stream. One of the things we did was tame that Rex. I just found him just sitting over there because I think everybody forgot he was there and brought him over here temporarily until I can uh, dispatch. Are you climbing my bridge? <laughs> Are you going up my bridge? Stupid Brano. All right, I'm going to spawn... Our tamed air boss. There it is. A little freeze, a little freeze, whatever he is. The air bird, whatever. The air chief, the air boss. Um, we're going to call him. The other one was Mother Earth. This one is uh, King Air. King Air, yeah. King Air. Uh, I think they can take saddles. Yes. They can take quet saddles, but they don't need a quet saddle. And by default, they're just as slow as a quet. <laughs> So we're going to have to have fun with this one soon. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.